Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Brad. Today we have a gentle flow, meaning keeping it light and easy. So this is perfect in the morning if you really are struggling to get out of bed and need something to energize you but that isn't so strenuous or if you're coming back home from work in the evening and you just need to reset yourself for a calm evening ahead. Also perfect if you're an athlete or fitness enthusiast and you're just finished training. So this is going to incorporate some of the movements that I teach a professional football club here in Cologne. And these are some of the things that I've studied that work best for mobility, for movement, and for breath work. So hop into something comfortable. I'll see you on the mat. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start laying down on our backs. So get yourself onto your mat. Lower yourself down towards the back of the mat. Let the feet be nice and hip-width distance apart. And then let the knees touch, just like so. The knees together, feet wide apart, arms go out to the side. Take a moment to close your eyes. Okay, you can rest the palms of the hands down on the ground and take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And another deep breath in. And out through the nose completely. Okay, we're going to keep doing that three more times, just in through the nose and out to reset. Breathe in. And let go. And two more. Breathe in. And let go. And one more to breathe in. And to let go. When you're ready from here, slowly hug your knees in towards your chest, nice and soft. Grabbing a hold of the backs of the knees is a nice tip. Rather than the tops of the shins, it makes it softer and easier for the legs to relax. And just move some circles from left to right. Try to keep your lower back on the ground as best as you can, even if you feel that uh, you have tight hips or a tight body. And do your best to relax your head to the ground and the shoulders. The point is to keep it as easy and light as possible. And sometimes that means making the pose easier for you than pushing into it. Reverse the direction with the legs. And if you've got Ujjayi breathing in your practice, now is a great time to begin to use that. Okay, very nice. Now from here, slowly bring the feet down towards the ground. Just grab a hold of the back of your right leg and move your lower limb, I'll we'll call it. So the shin bone and the foot in circles from left to right. Just a little bit of mobilization for the knee and for the foot. And then switch it the other direction. Okay, now five times, straighten the leg towards the ceiling, breathe in. Don't force it too much. Again, keep it light and easy. Those are our words for today. And flex. Straighten, flex with breath work, three more, breathe in, flex, two more, breathe in, flex, one more, breathe in, and flex. Now move the whole hip joint around in circles from right to left. Five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse it the other direction, left to right. Five, four. Three, I'll say it again, keep it light and easy, two, and one. Good, from here, cross the left, or the, sorry, the right ankle on the left thigh, hug the back of your left leg into your chest, and again, circles from left to right. You see the theme? Circles. Three, two, do it as soft as you can, and then reverse, right to left. Three, two, and one. Now try to really grab a hold of the back of your left leg, and pull the knee into your chest for one, and release, and two, and release a bit. Three, if you exhale, you can go deeper. Inhale, build tension. Exhale, pull in. And one more time, inhale, build. And exhale, pull in. Okay, from here, slowly bring the left foot down to the ground. Keep the arms out to the side. Maintain your nose breathing. Take a deep inhale from here. On the exhale, rotate your knees over to the left. On the inhale, bring the legs back to center. Exhale, rotate the knees over to the right. One more time, back to center, breathe in. Exhale, rotate knees over to the left. Inhale, back to center. 
Exhale, rotate the knees all the way over to the right. And then inhale back to center. Place the right foot down to the ground. Shake the legs out and take a nice deep breath in. And maybe even a breath out through the mouth now. Okay, let's go to the other side. Grab a hold of the back of your left leg. Maybe you can interlace the hands. Again, shoulder and head relaxed. Move your foot in circles from right to left. Five, four, three, two, one, reverse, left to right. Five, nose breathing, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now move the hip from left to right. Five, four, three, two, one, reverse it the other direction, right to left. Five, four, how's your breath? Three, two, and one. Now from here, hug the knee a bit closer into your chest, just five times, straighten the leg on the inhale, squeeze the heels of the butt on the exhale. Four more, squeeze. Three more, squeeze. Two more, squeeze. And last one, and squeeze. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh and hug the back of your right leg into your chest. And again, soft circles from left to right, just for three, two, and one. And then the other direction, right to left, five, or sorry, not five, three, two, one. Now hold the knee into your chest. Take an inhale to build a bit of tension again. And on the exhale, pull the knee into your chest. Inhale, exhale, pull. Three more, breathe in. As you pull, try to push your left knee away from you. Two more. And one more. Very good. When you're ready, bring the right foot down to the ground. Keep the arms out to the side. Take an inhale again. And on the exhale, we move the knees over to the right. Then inhale to center. Then exhale to the left. Then inhale to center, exhale to the right, and inhale to center one more time, and exhale all the way over towards the left. Good. Slowly bring your legs back to center when you finish. Shake the legs out nice and softly. Make sure the fingertips can touch your heels. We do a soft bridge pose five times. You're focused on consistency of movement over intensity. So as you inhale, drive the hips up and reach the arms all the way up and back towards the ceiling and just stay for a breath. And what I mean by consistency over intensity is doing positions consistently, right? So three times a week, four times a week, not once a year and as hard as you can. It's when you do it consistent, the body builds the resilience. When you do it intensely, but not consistently, not as much. On the exhale, bring the hips back down towards the ground, the arms back down to the ground, and now we'll move fast. Inhale up for two. Exhale, hips back down. Three more. Again, keeping with the theme of light and easy. Exhale, back down. Okay. Inhale, two more. And down with the hips and the arms. And last one, drive up. And last one, down with the hips and the arms. All right. When you're ready, hug your knees in towards your chest. See if you can rock forward and back on your spine softly by rounding the spine and going maybe even slowly down and then find your way all the way up towards a seated position. Okay, and with the legs crossed, we'll do my favorite four spine movement. Reach the arms up high overhead on the breath in. And on the exhale, let's just do a soft twist over to the right. Left hand on the right thigh, right arm back behind you. Roll the shoulder back as you breathe out. And then on the inhale, bring both arms back up high. Exhale, twist all the way over to the left. Breathe out. On the next inhale, bring both arms back up high. Exhale for a side bend. Reach the right hand down. Keep the butt down. Reach the left arm over and breathe out. Next inhale, both arms back up high. Exhale, left hand down. Reach the right arm over and breathe out. Good. Next inhale, both arm arms back up high. Interlace your hands behind the back of your head. This time, spread the elbows wide. Try to push your chest forwards and then lift it up and breathe in. And on the exhale, bring the elbows towards each other. Tuck your chin to your chest and softly round the spine all the way down as you breathe out. We'll do that twice more. Inhale to lift the chest. Push it forward and up. Spread the elbows wide. Look up. Exhale, elbows towards each other. Tuck your chin to your chest. Round the spine. Go down. And last one. Inhale to lift the chest. Spread the elbows wide. Breathe in. 
Exhale, elbows towards each other. Tuck your chin to your chest. Round the spine. Go all the way back down. On the next inhale, slowly rise yourself back up. Replace the hands back behind you and spread the feet wide apart as comfortably as you can. This is for internal rotation of the hips. Make sure your breathing is in and out through your nose. Take your time. And then slowly, without moving this leg so much, but making sure you feel it in the right, move the right knee down to the ground. Make sure there's no pain and that you... I like to tell my students, uh, explore the movement. So I guess if you're being playing the student today with this, explore the movement until you feel something here in this area. You may feel it in other areas too, but we want to try to play with the tissue here in the glute area. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath in. And one more breath out. On the next inhale, bring your legs back to center. Keep the right leg a bit outwards and then drop the left knee down to the ground. So this one I have to play with more because it's less tight. It's more flexible here. All right. And when you found that area, experiment with it. See what you can do to release some of the tension in the tissue here. Breathe. In and out. <coughs> one more breath in. Okay. And out. Good. Then on the inhale, come back to center, and let's just do that twice on each side like a movement. Right knee down, and then back up. Make sure there's no hip pain. Left knee down, then back up. And one more time, right knee down, and back up. And left knee down, and then back up. Very nice. From here now, keep the right foot out just like so. Extend the left leg forwards. Keep the left hand down, and we're going to play with a small movement. So on the inhale, you're going to reach the right arm all the way up and back as we build the tension and breathe. And really reach back to get some length. On the exhale, you're going to reach the right hand towards the left foot. Okay, let's do that together. Breathe in. Reach the right arm all the way back. Exhale, reach for the left foot. Four more. Breathe in. Exhale, reach. Three more. Breathe in. Exhale, reach. Two more, breathe in. And exhale, reach. And one more, breathe in. And exhale, reach. Okay, back to center on the breath in. Extend the right leg forward, bring the left foot back, switch it out. Okay, right hand down. So again, the same thing, just a sample. Reach the arm back, build tension with the breath in. Release tension with a breath out. Let's begin. Breathe in, reach back. Exhale, reach for the foot. Inhale for two. Exhale to reach. Inhale for three. Exhale to reach. Inhale for four. And exhale to reach. And inhale for five. And exhale to reach. Inhale slowly all the way back up. Extend the left leg forward and shake it out. Okay, cross the legs. Let's shift forward on towards our hands and our knees and come into a soft position called thread the needle. Reach the left arm towards the ceiling on the breath in. And on the exhale, twist the left arm underneath you and bring the shoulder down and the side of the head down. If you wish, you can stay here. If you'd like more, maybe reach the right fingertips forward. It's helpful when you spread the fingers wide and straighten the arm. If you'd like more here, tuck your back toes, the right foot, and straighten the right leg back. And if you'd like more here, begin to lift the right foot off the ground. And take a breath in. And take a breath out. And one more breath in to find your little balance challenge. And on the exhale, with control, bring the right foot and the right knee back down to the ground. Slide the right hand back to the left hand where it met. And on the inhale, reach the left arm back up high towards the ceiling and a soft wrap of the left arm behind the back, rolling the shoulder back and just taking a breath in and a breath out. Good. Reach the left arm back up high on the inhale. Exhale back to your hands and knees. Feel free to take one cat cow where you arch the spine to breathe in and then tuck and round the spine to breathe out and push out through the hands. Let's come back to center on the next inhale. Reach the right arm towards the ceiling. Breathe in. 
exhale twist the right arm underneath you the shoulder down and the side of the head down and this view is not as easy to see but we can just try from the other side reach the left arm forward spread the fingertips wide if you can extend the left leg back slowly lifting the left knee off the ground and hold the position here so you can stay or you can slowly begin to lift the left leg off the ground and breathe breathe in and breathe out and one more breath in and on the exhale slowly bring the left foot and the left knee back down to the ground slide the left hand to meet the right and on the inhale reach the right arm towards the ceiling breathe in and then wrap your right arm behind the back as you breathe out and roll the shoulder back and take one breath in one breath out and then reach the right arm back up high on the inhale exhale back to your hands and knees take a cat cow arch the spine to inhale tuck and round the spine to exhale Okay, from here, tuck your toes. This is really important if you've got tight feet or plantar fasciitis or anything like this. Bring the hips against the heels like so, but we're going to make it a movement. So you're not going to stay here long. Your hands can support you. So we just tuck the toes. Then we untuck the toes, and we sit as far as we can. If you've got knee issues, the most important thing is not to chase the pain. So it's just going as far as you can, sitting, and then bringing the top of the feet down. Now, of course, if any of this feels good to you, you can stay longer, right? You can sit here, you can hold it, you can breathe into it. Otherwise, I just encourage you to get a little bit of movement in and keep it consistent, keep it light, <laughs> keep it easy. I think we should, should make little mottos for every class. Keep it light, keep it easy. The next one should be keep it strong, keep it hard. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, keep the movement going. We'll do this for another 10 seconds or so. And try to, again, put the focal point on how the feet feel. Not what feels tense or anything like this, but more observing what you feel. Because when you observe what you feel, then you, feel <laughs> then you begin to understand what you need. Okay. From there, let's finish it slowly up. And then slowly step the right foot around the outside of the right hand and make small circles from left to right with the hips. For five, four, Three, two, and one. And then from there, keep the left hand down to the ground, reach the right arm towards the ceiling to breathe in, and then wrap the right arm behind the back and roll the right shoulder back. And take one inhale and one exhale. On the next inhale, reach the right arm back up high overhead. On the exhale, bring both hands to the mat. Shift forward into your hips one more time to breathe in. And on the exhale, shift back towards a bit of half splits. As you can notice, I'm not straightening the leg here. I'm keeping it also light and easy. You can do the same. Shift forward to breathe in. Shift back to breathe out. This would be straightening if you want to see, but that's not what we're doing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three more times. Breathe in. Remember, if I can encourage you at all, it would be to keep things consistent, not intense. Don't do a stretching round where you put 10 out of 10 intensity or a movement round and then you don't do it for three or four weeks because it just hurts. Keep it really soft, make it fun, make it enjoyable, and then you'll come back to it. Then it becomes addictive, yeah? Just like whatever sport or fitness you might do. Okay, when you finish that, shift back towards your hands and your knees. Shake your leg out if you need. You know we have the other side, right? <laughs> Step the left foot around the outside of the left hand and then shift in circles from right to left. For five, four, three, how's your breath by the way? Two, one. From this position, right hand down to the ground, left arm towards the ceiling, breathe in, and then wrap your left arm behind the back, roll the shoulder back, also make sure that to check in that the neck is relaxed. Take one breath in and one breath out. And then reach the left arm back up high on the next inhale. And on the exhale, bring both hands down to the mat. And we shift forward into the hips to breathe in. And we shift back towards a half split, just keeping it nice and light and easy, flexing the toes. Inhale forwards. And exhale back. <laughs> inhale forwards. Three more. Exhale back. Two more. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. And one more inhale forwards. And exhale all the way back. 
on the next inhale forward shift and then step the left leg back you can shake the leg out for a moment and then come back directly towards your hands and your knees and take an inhale to arch the spine and breathe in and take an exhale to tuck and round the spine to breathe out walk the hands a little bit more forward take your first breath in for this next position and on the exhale slowly lower down your hips your chest and your chin towards the ground for a little chaturanga take an inhale for a cobra pose keep the feet down on the ground push them down imagine i'm trying to lift them that's how hard you want to push down and then lift the hands off the ground and breathe in and breathe out and one more breath in Good. On the exhale, press yourself slowly all the way back towards a child's pose and breathe out. If this is too tight for you, just bring your, four, your fists on top of each other and your head on top of the fists and take a moment to breathe in and a moment to breathe out. And a couple more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. And one more breath in. And a breath out. Okay. On the next inhale, press yourself slowly back towards your hands and knees to breathe in. We're just going to do down dog for a moment, and then we're going to slow everything down again. Tuck your toes. Push all the way back and up to downward facing dog. And when you get here, just play with your feet. That's what I would recommend. So really push out through the hands, shift the hips up, but bend the right knee in towards your chest and try to straighten the left leg towards the ground. But if you notice, my hips are really high up and try to keep doing that. Then we switch left knee towards the chest, straighten the right heel towards the ground. And we do that a few times. Okay. It's called walking the dog. And I like to work on it so it I help work on releasing the tension in my calves and also the Achilles. Or if you want to get more technical, we can say other anatomical words, but what's the point? See what feels good. See how it feels. Another five, four, three. We're almost done with down dog. Two and one. Good. Back to downward facing dog. Then shift forward to a plank pose just to breathe in for a moment. And on the exhale, come onto the knees. Lower yourself down until the chest comes to the ground. Bring the arms out to the side like so to make sure that the hands are in line with the shoulders. Lift up the left foot. Bring the side of your head to the ground. So that means the right ear to the ground. And try to touch your left foot to the right hand. So you're going to rotate all the way over onto the right side with your left leg. And we'll stay for a breath in. And we'll stay for a breath out. So again, you don't have to try to actually touch the foot but that's kind of the direction we want to take it. Take one more inhale, please. And one more exhale. And then slowly make your way back to center. Okay, rotate to where the left ear is on the ground now. Lift up the right foot. Rotate the right foot over to the left hand. Take a breath in. And take a breath out. Two more breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale and one more exhale. And then when you're ready, slowly make your way back on towards your stomachs. Bring your hands in front of you. Bring the forehead on top of the hands. And we're going to do an unconventional end to class, which will be a Shavasana like this. Close the eyes, take a moment to breathe, and enjoy.
say thank you for spending these moments here on you, for you, and about you. Please feel free to stay a little bit longer, but today this class ends here and now. And as I love to say, Namaste. So until next time, ciao for now.